insert the fucking thing. Did it work? I didn't get it to work. <laughs> yeah, it's like a foot pedal, man. Except for it's not. So I, uh, welcome back to Chen, whatever. Um, I told you that I, I convinced my one client who was like, I think he's 64, 65, to get a laptop. Yeah. And it's it's very interesting working with, or like teaching a computer to somebody who's like hasn't used one in like 20 years. Um, so how do you open up a fire? Well, because like, I, I think like I have to teach him how to shut down the computer. And like, I think uh. he just like pressed the, like the power button to like do the sleep mode or whatever. And he's like, like, I'm afraid that it's going to, like, wipe everything or something like that. I'm like, no, no you don't have to worry about that. Like, you're going to have to, you know, do something very, like, you know, deliberately to make it... Uh, wipe. To wipe it, you know. But then, like, tr him trying to find, like, the keys on the keyboard is just kind of, you know... Fun. Oh, is he one of the... Oh, yeah. But, I mean... <clears throat> at least, you know... Naturally so. He hasn't used a computer in a long time. But it's just, like, interesting. It's unforgivable, Taylor. I cannot abide by that. <laughs> Yeah. This one's annoying. Um but like in the in the program that we're using we're using Guitar Pro and like R is like a pretty consistent uh let or like letter that we need to use and like every single time it comes up like he has to um find it on the keyboard to use it, you know. It's, like, it's just you just know memorize it. Yeah, I'm not holding it against them. Like it'll it'll take him some time to get used to it, but it's just interesting working with somebody who like has no idea so, on Taylor, how that works. Taylor, you're weak. Why? Because you uh <laughs> shit. Because um what you call it? There's a way to do this. Uh, you're you're weak because uh, I said so. No, because you're forgiving. That's what uh, what I was gonna say. You're weak because you forgive. I would never forgive a person for, <laughs> for not, not knowing how to yeah. do something. <laughs> I mean, all right. I know how to do a lot of things. Good. Thank you. you are not weak. Thank you. Well, you gotta give me a second here. I forgot how to do this We're one. I, die. This one I don't remember how to do. If I'm being honest. Um, hmm. What do you gotta do? You gotta get like all of them over here somehow. I don't know. I always forget how to do this one. Because you can get this man. How blue is your nipple? I don't know. Really, is very blue. Very blue? I lost a lot of oxygen when I was a baby. Oh, God. It caused me to have blue nipples. Avatar. The last blue nipple. <laughs> the last blue nipple. Oh, uh, fuck. How do I do this one? I think you have to have a bridge on, like, both of them or something. Maybe. Like two bridges. Two bridges, your paradise. Pack your bags on each night. I think you gotta have two, but there's no way to get the uh, like the other guy over there. That's the problem. Uh, I know that. And you oh, maybe I grab this dude and go the other way. I guess. You, you hear my nose? Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, I guess. Thanks. I appreciate your honesty. The stupid thing is, is like there's one more room after this. I'm pretty sure. She <laughs> Looks right. like you only need three, so. Yeah, I need three, but I need but you need one to get up there. That's the trick with this one. Yeah, is so you got them all. That. Yeah. I was thinking it the other way around. You have to get them all over there. Hey, here we go. Yo. No, fucking. There you go. I got the, the ecto cooler. 
What are they pumping? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Fire suppression switch. There we go. Kick it. So now I gotta go do that puzzle. What am I kicking? Wow. Call back. That's a. Uh, I think that's a game coming out this year, isn't it? Last of Us Part Last Two. Last of Us Part Two. I think so. I thought that, uh... Wow, what a lame death for him. He gets killed by water. I'm a rubit. <laughs> um, I, I remember, I, or I thought that, um... Fucking Death Stranding was supposed to come out this year, but I guess not. If it is, it's, like, late this year. I thought it was supposed to come out in, like, June or something, but... I think that was just like a, like something they had like a trailer or something like that and like they te or maybe it was something on Twitter or something I don't know they like teased June but I don't think it's actually gonna happen. That's really the only game I want to play is that one. What if it sucks though? What if it sucks? Yeah. And it sucks. It's the end of that. Mm. The new Star Wars is going to suck, probably. Hiroki Ojima said that it will be released before the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, so perhaps a 2019 release date is on the cards? Question mark. Oh. Uh, that makes sense. Whoopsie. I didn't mean to throw that. I didn't mean to throw that. October 2019. Oh, okay. For The Last of Us. Oh, For The Last of Us. I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that as much. I'll play it. I'll check <laughs> it out. We'll play it. You'll you'll be the one playing that. Yeah. Because I played the first one. Yeah, and you did a great job of playing the first I one. I did. I, sh I still remember that fucking... <laughs> just little shotgun blast to the ba the side of that guy's head when he came into the bathroom. <laughs> Just fucking painted is, the wall. His head is just gone. It was right at the end of the game, too. Yeah. That's where I figured out my love for shotguns. <laughs> That's where you found it, right there. I'm like, oh, shotguns. <laughs> and then I played lots of... Uh, Uncharted? Uncharted with all shotguns. That's like the only way to play it, really, at this point. I mean, I can play it with a machine gun, but it's so... Boring. Tedious. <gasps> Just that let me run thing. straight up to him, kick him, well, and then shoot him a, in the face with a shotgun. Well, that was a thing, though, with, like, the Uncharted series. Like, I like the games. They're fine, but it's, like, they never, like, got any different. Like, they never got any better than they really were. Except, they, I mean... They had wanna, a formula, and they stuck to it. Yeah, unless you want to count, like, visuals, maybe. In which case, the visuals did get better over time, but, like, that's the only thing that really changed. They kind of made it a little more interesting... And a little more boring all at the same time. Yeah. Well, because it's like, you know, there's been a lot of those, like, sequels within the past couple of years that are literally just the same thing, but, like, with a new story or whatever, you know? Like, a lot of those uh, Ubisoft games kind of did that. Yeah. Um, where they're just repeat sequels over and over again. Heck, even the, you know, the Tomb Raider games were all like that. That's why, like, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I don't think anybody gave a shit about, is because it was literally the exact same as the last two. Yeah. Um, fucking, uh, what's it, Deus Ex? Dusex? Dusex? Dude Sex was Do that Sackies? one? Yeah. That was the same thing. I remember you, you said you didn't like fucking, uh, what is it, Mankind Divided because they had microtransactions in it or something? Yeah. Which I never even knew that that game had them. Yep. I didn't like even the know. I gotta put my tra microtransactions in every time. You're gonna now. put that in the new Dragon Age. <laughs> microtransactions? Well, I think I'm pretty sure they've confirmed that it's gonna be a live service game. So yeah. it's our it's like dead on arrival pretty much. You would think that they would be like, well, Anthem didn't do a good job. Maybe we should just not do that. No, we have to double down, triple down, quadruple down. I think, um, at least I heard recently anyway with regards to Anthem that, like, um, a lot of the people who were on the Anthem team for, like, updates and stuff have left that project now and are working on Dragon Age, so, like, the support that they promised, um, 
like it's they were add, like they were adding stuff to it. No, it'll happen, but it's just delayed now. Like it was supposed to be out this month, but it's not coming out this month now. Yeah, they um, which is like even like worse for that game that they don't have like new content coming out to keep people interested. Oh, oh no. no, they coming for me! Oh no! Oh no, they, they coming! Coming! We're gonna get fucked in the butt and in the mouth at the same time, simultaneously. Ask the mouth. Ask the mouth. What are you looking up? Uh, Studio Flow. As to mouth. Huh? Studio Flow. They're making a game. Oh. It's called Subverse. Oh. Is there porn? Is there any porn? Is there good porn, Billy? Explore a wacky galaxy full of hot porn. alien babes. Porn. In this kinky new sci-fi RPG mashup. Okay. They got some concept shit. Let me look. It's on the Steam store. Oh. <laughs> I have to is, be in is that somebody? That, is that like a game you've been looking forward to? Uh, no, it's just a new game that oh. uh, I have uh, seen. <laughs> I have it on my wish list. I do not actually, but I don't I, feel like I am uh, currently adding it to my wish. List. <laughs> I don't feel like uh, what you call it? Getting off while you play video games? No, I don't feel like. Uh, do you think? Oh, do you think people logging into my Steam account to go look at it? Do you, do you think certain people come playing yes. video games? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, like some people what? look to come and play playing video games. Like, what are they coming to though? Whatever they can. Like, what can you possibly come to in a video game? Women. You get the hot coffee Men. mod on GTA San Andreas. You don't even need that. Well, for some people, well, they're fucking with their clothes on. <laughs> So they wanted a hundred thousand dollars. Well, sorry, a hundred thousand pounds because they're in UK. That's even more than dollars. Yes, it is. To uh, to get this subverse game going. That's a lot of money. Guess how much they got? Uh, Forty-two. Uh, One million six hundred sixty-eight thousand six hundred twenty-six pounds. Oh my God. My Lord, why? Porn. Yeah. It's porn, but like. Is it going to be full on? Is like it a full on adult game, or is Since it just like a pin up type thing where they show like scantily clad women? It's an RPG game, yeah. So, so it's a game. It's I know it's a game, but I'm just saying like it's got sexy girls in it. Mm. How much we we got? But I'm just saying, are they full on nude? Apparently, it's a tactical RPG shmup. Oh, hybrid. What? What even is that? I shoot 'em up. I know, but I'm just, like, how do you do a tactical RPG shmup? Since the dawn of time, humankind has star, uh, Wanted uh, boobs. stared up at the cosmos with a mixture of boobs. trepidation and wonder, and boobs. turning our curious eyes towards the glittering stars speckled across our little blue planet. We have often asked ourselves the boobs. eternal question: Are we alone in this universe? What is our what is out there? More importantly, can we bone it? <laughs> in caps. Or sorry, in bold. Yeah. That's why we made Subverse, a tactical RPG slash shmup hybrid that takes place in a fully explorable galaxy where you get to be the captain of your very own ship, which is crewed by the sexiest and deadliest waifus you can recruit. <laughs> oh, and you can also Man. befriend and perpetually... You can also potentially or no perpetually, perpetually. Oh, and you can also befriend and perpetually stoned imp mechanic with six tentacles. What? What does that even mean? It's an imp mechanic who is stoned perpetually. Oh. And she has six tentacles. Did you have oh, six sticks? Okay. Enter the Prodigium Galaxy, a place ruled by. A and buy a bunch of uh, prudential, pr- pr- pure, I can't fucking say it, pure, puritanical, 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 oppressive douchebags who pretty much hate anything sexy. Are they actually douchebags? Naturally, it's up to you to lead a covert revolution to overthrow these dickheads 
with your very own Black Ops squad of knockout waifus, backed up by genetically engineered monsters and a top-secret stolen military fighter ship, all of which can be upgraded into an unstoppable force with loot and credits. Assemble an elite team of deadly alien waifus that will fight for you. Learn their backstories, earn their loyalty, and they'll do other stuff for you too. By other stuff, we mean in bed. Like, you know, copulation. Just in case it wasn't absolutely clear, you can bang your team members. Are we good now? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's absurd. Well, next time on Chin Snap Chat, we're going to play that game. Anyway.